powers of deduction seem to have waned not one bit. How do you feel about the patch? Do you think it will shake up the meta? I do think it'll shake up the meta to a degree. Uh, to what degree is another question. I don't know if I even need this on Krite Longsword anymore. But it's not bad to have. These are good cards, but I don't need you either. It's Precision Strike, so there's a good chance that nothing survives, right? This is fucking exciting. I wonder how this dies. <clears throat> I guess it doesn't. That might have been my pass, actually. <clears throat> but who the hell knows? This dude's playing completely uninteractive, which is... Uh, you see Precision Strike and you think that this guy may have been hurt in a past life, not hugged. Forest Protector to kill this? Yep. I guess we're going to a long round. So this is probably going to be a, like a long round of traps and nonsense, right? This is going to be terrible. I'm, I'm just calling it right now, friends. This is going to be absolutely <laughs> god awful. I mean, the only option we have here is to go long, right? Alright, so what do you get rid of? Sorry for already leaving again. I hope you have a great stream flake. Bye, chat. Adios, Sifo. Thanks for coming on by. Okay, there goes my stuff. It's a lot of cards that do nothing for me. What do we leave on the board? Ah, oh, bloody ghoul. It's not the end of the world, I guess. The only good 
Kill it, I dare you. Maybe there are units coming. Maybe I'm not terribly upset. <clears throat> Maybe there is some stuff coming. But I mean, as soon as you see making a bomb, you're like, okay, this is definitely an uninteractive maelstrom carousel of nonsense. But on the plus city plus side... There's a lot of thought process going over here. I just know that there's a good chance that my Herald dies. Non-devotion. Oh, they're running out of time here. Oh, it's on the opposite row, right? Whoopsie. I put it on the wrong row. The Valley of Flowers. There is no place more beautiful. I don't know if there's a way that they can use to boost the Dunka. But uh, this is going to be for the Gord, which I'm assuming they're coming coming after at some point, right? They really need to kill this Brock bar, but they can't. Need I kill you again? And I 
think if you want to grow as any sort of exactly person, what I hoped for. I feel like that just has way more implications. The hell is this? Shuffle a special card from your graveyard to your deck. If it was bronze, uh, okay. Uh, I guess Simlas is coming. Yeah, it looks like Simlas is coming. What is that, Gord? Or Simlas? That's a big Simlas, don't get me wrong. But it's boosting nothing in hand. So I feel like this was just completely mismanaged by my opponent, potentially, because they they played a Simlas into double boost for nothing? Yeah, that seemed a little bit yucky. The last beer bender. Look at this guy. You remember it? Yeah. I had a demo for it, and I didn't even realize it was a demo. And I was like, this is the shortest game ever. And I kept beating it. And then I realized, like, oh, wait, it's the fucking demo. This hand is pure, hot, organic, free-range garbage, but we're going to fix it. You can go away. You can go away. You can go away. Wow. All right, we're playing a little bronzy bronze sauce McBronze face. This looks like a Kel two list. Am I right? Or am I right? Beating a demo is still an accomplishment? I'll take it. This is back in the days where demos for games were like... I remember buying like a PC Mag magazine and in it would be like this demo with like six different games. Or uh, you get like a PlayStation magazine or something along those lines. That will die. This has all the symptoms of a Keltulis list. The nice spice is Sarah here is being a little bit funky. There's Boner, man. See, this is probably going to be the defender, I would imagine. I'm guessing it's the defender. No, they're getting Keltulis. Okay. Still a very Keltulian list. Like, if I had a Morkvar here, I could punish, but...
they could just pass here, but I don't think I can go into this round having lost. Yeah, it's a tough break. I ran out of time. I should have killed that thing with my leader ability, and I didn't. This is a bad game for me. Borkfarg would have supremely helped me here. There's the first time we pull a Vabjorn. But I think he pressures me here for sure. I'm just hoping he didn't find the defender, but there's a good chance that he did. shape. for the fable of heart! They'll fight to the last bloody drop in our veins. Cleans that up. But what I worry about, which is Sabbath, just ruins me, right? Here it comes. Yeah. Talk about a party. Talk about a party. The Blevins! How are you, friend? Thanks for tuning in. Welcome aboard, friend. It's nice to have you here. The Blevins. John Blevins. Awesome, amazing card player Blevins. Wicked human being Blevins. Just top-notch, wicked cool, super sauce me. Just freaking written in the stars, Blevins. This is for you, buddy. Thanks for uh, subscribing to the channel. Here's a little bit of love for you. And I'm gonna scare the hell out of you. Any 
question. How we'll end it. I'm David Pumpkins. And I'm gonna scare the hell out of you. How are you, Blev? Nice to see you, buddy. Living souls in your wake shall ne'er dare you forget your sin. All right, out of curiosity, let's just see. What's their card that they might have? Let's say they Heat Wave. Let's say they Heat Wave. It's Heat Wave on 10. I go to 30. They take one, they're at 21, and then I lose a four. You guys like hero passes? Because we're hero passing. You guys like hero passes? Because I like hero pass. Ha ha ha! Suck my hero pass! Ooh, big brain flake. Ooh, big brain flake. That is a hero pass. That is a hero pass. When you know your opponent's deck, you know what is awesome, what works, what doesn't work, and everything in between, my friends. Sure. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the pain train. So what's left in here? There's still plenty of stuff here. I still have a six point Onkrite Raider I can go get. <clears throat> no, maybe not. Really want this Harold the Cripple, but I don't think we're getting it. Don't think we're getting it. Yeah, get out of my game. Get out of my game. You got absolutely outplayed. Like, to me, the vanities are better because I have all the cards. So getting reward points for more resources means nothing. So I'm already swimming in it. But I get what you're saying. Like, you're right. 30 RP is a lot of RP. We'll hold uh, the record for the most Simpsons references per minute. Easy. We'll be driving back and just being like, Yes, eat all of our shorts. <laughs> or shirts. Flanders says shirts. Yes, eat all of our shirts. Well, this is a tough little cookie here. Uh, iced can go. I hate tossing iced, but... Yeah, and we drew both of these. And I forgot to change my strategy, but it doesn't matter. Because we're not strategizing. You played your hand. Now, allow me to retort. Let's give this dude something to talk about here because we don't want them to we want them to play proactively. It's a very nice card back though. 
Yes, eat all of our shirts. Well, something's got to give. I have to give him something. Let's give him this because you can't... They can't drop a spying on this because of the veil. So their proactivity, once again, is maybe a little bit... Slow down. But Blightmaker's cool. I mean, Nilfgaard is Nilfgaard. It's a nasty little faction. Alright, here, you can have this. You can have this. I wonder if they play Amnesty. There it is, yeah. They're not playing... It seems like they're not playing Sunset Wanderers because I haven't seen any movement in the hand. Maybe I'm just not paying attention. If you guys picked it up, picked up on it, please let me know. Because my mind is uh, a little swimming. Blevins! Are you there, my friend? If you're still there, I got some really cool news from yesterday. I'm in one hell of a hole here. This is a 22-point deficit that isn't easy for Skellige to come back on. And they just gave, they gave me nothing. But I didn't give them anything either. And I think that's okay. So I don't want to pop the stunning blow. You're here? So yesterday I had a meeting with uh, the guy who owns and runs fabdb.net. And we have partnered up wherein... My uh, my podcast is going to be on Wrath Times, which is really cool. And I still need you to come on the podcast, which is uh, hopefully uh, something that we can do in the month of November. Okay, this hand looks significantly better but still not great because I may be paying the price for mulliganing the iced you send out the bat signal and I'm there I like it now we're talking you feed them with hunger crush them with thirst I'm just gonna jam this out. I don't know if they're bleeding yet, but this is a this is a play I'm I'm willing to make right now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, we're going the distance, that's for sure. We're gonna hit a wheel on Blood Eagle. Fingers crossed, my friends. Maybe this will be good. Maybe it will be bad. The good news is we're having fun. Look at the deck. It is just loaded with gold cards. Upgrade. Upgrade. The fact that this isn't a warrior means I can't draw it is really tough for me. Like, Blood Eagle gets me... I guess it gets me Herkia. So 
true love could lift the curse, but who would love such a thing? Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. Like, I wouldn't mind that thing growing if I had uh, Morkvarg. I could probably concentrate on the Onkrite Raider and not worry about it, but it ain't looking too pretty. You will not regret this, good sir. Let's keep setting up some nonsense here. I wonder if he has an amnesty. That would be naughty. Uh, naughty. Is that a steal? Or is that a... Another... Is it double amnesty? No. Okay. Where's your tall units is the question. could get nasty man i'm telling you right now this could get nasty i'm guessing it's like so i my guess here is it's yen's invocation and arto So does this ever get bigger than this? Or does this ever get to 10?
I think this is just too much of a, a slaughter. There's the Arto. I said Yen's Invocation, but it might not be Yen's Invocation. Fukusha is a good call. Got him! Hey, sweet shoes, bro. Um, no, actually, they're terrible. Got him. Also, uh, the whole thing where he's like purposely trying to sabotage. He's trying to sabotage his own Netflix project to get back at somebody. <laughs> he's so petty. It's a great show. It is a great, great show. We're keeping these because if this clown shoe is running mages, we need to dunk on them a little bit. I want to get rid of Harold, but I don't want to get rid of Harold. But I feel like I need a better card than Harold because I'm not playing Harold right now, so let's just do it. Hey, Flake, thanks. My favorite candy is whatever from Haribo. I've heard some really scary stories for, about Haribo. All right, so we might not be able to keep the Banard student at bay, but we'll try to kill some other nonsense. I mean, I think I just have to stay relevant in this round. I don't necessarily need to win it. I just need to stay relevant in it. Love the random dead robber in this pool. Yeah. <laughs> Which is just and like it it the the whole mo the the whole show just starts off so weird. We're kind of in some dangerous territory here. Don't ever expect your opponents to line up. Because he's going to take me to fucking town next round, isn't he? He's going to take me to town. You know what? If he takes me to town, he takes me to town because we're not winning this round anyways. All right, Phil Plessis, uh, add me on GOG and I will gift you uh, some cosmetics out of the shop, my friend. Very simple. Just add Watch Flake on GOG and I will uh, add. Uh, I will send some uh, some goodies your way to your account. So cheers to you. Thanks for playing. Why well, I say playing? You didn't really do much, but yeah, at least you were there. Part of the ride. Tandas. Garbanzo beans. Uh, please, please, please don't be Siege. That's all I gotta say is just don't be Siege. Simple to counter, Patience Mages, just play Remedies in every deck, every faction. Yeah. I mean, that's not a bad idea. Like, we're gonna get winched and nonsense, but... Oh, 
So let's get them to consider winching like now. Because this might die. Dude, they're going hard in the paint here. They're not even waiting. What does Fakusha get me? Not a whole lot. I was messing around with the Soldier Illusionist to simulate NG Pile. Seems good. May need to do some tweaks to the deck. Uh, the Illusionist stuff was actually a real thorn in my side today uh, as they were kept copying my boats. Like, a lot. Oh, god damn it. That's not good for Flake, is it? That's not good for the Flakester. Wow. So, no one else dares face me. Look closely, kiddos, on thy courageous mother. That ain't looking good. Nice point swing, but it's not the greatest thing ever. Concrete! 
Now at least the rain's gonna be worth four points to me. Yeah, I think we still lose this, unfortunately. Like I said, at, remember I said at the beginning, just no siege? That's good news for me. The fact that he used this right now is very good news for me. That's very good news for me because that's two less points that he has to perhaps kill my skull. That doesn't do anything for you. Natural, of course. Good game. Hey man, we are just whooping Amos today. We are whooping Amos. Feels good in the hood. I'll take a GG. Hey, some. No, actually, they're terrible. God, hey.